Pregame.com. Hey, do you want to talk about something interesting, or do you want to actually make some money? I want to win, Teddy. Yeah, money, 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 money. Teddy covers Steve Fezzik here on Pregame.tv. And Fez, it's time for your free play. And you're going to the WNBA season over under win totals. I love it. Bottom of the barrel stuff here. But you know what? This is the kind of stuff that wins. You talk about micro limits here, Teddy. I'm going to go as micro as they come. This is barely up. Uh, I've one book I know of, five dimes, put up season win numbers, 20 cent lines in each direction, WNBA, and guess what? Mm. It's impossible for them to put up any good numbers. They got low limits. And I went ahead and took a look at them, and I'm going to go ahead and give out the one on the Seattle Storm, the perfect storm for betting on Seattle this year. And the number on the Storm this year, over under 13 and a half wins. The over, minus 140. You must have betted already once. I actually act. This is interesting. The <laughs> limit is like two hundred dollars, uh -huh. and I just wanted to show because if, people, if oh, if it comes out to the WNBA, the lines are so wrong. I didn't want to trash the line myself for betting hundred dollars, so I kept it there. Nice. It's still there. This team's going to win nineteen games. This is as bad a line as you ever see. I'd like two fifty on this bet. L let me ask you this very simple question because I know nothing about WNBA. How many games are in a season? Thirty-four. Seventeen home. Seventeen on the road. So if they go, if they come close to five hundred, you cash your ticket. Uh, why are they lying so low? Why Seattle lined at 13 and a half wins if Be they're a much better team than that? Because they won 12 games last year. And before that, they always were a 500 or better team. They lost their coach, Brian Agler, who had somewhat fallen out of favor for the, with the team. And Sue Bird is aging, and she's not what she once was. But what people haven't paid attention to, Teddy, is the fact that remember when Elijah Wan and Jordan went one and three in the draft? Yeah. Well, this year, Seattle, they don't have a first round and a third round pick. They have the first and the third pick in the draft. Jewel Lloyd is a great guard out of Notre Dame. All reports say that Kalina Mosqueda Lewis is a forward out of Connecticut, is a three point bomber, is a forward, and she's phenomenal. Not to mention they got Abby Bishop from Australia. This team is loaded. They're going to make the playoffs, and they're lined like they are a bottom feeder. This line is garbage. Last question, because we're almost out of time here. How long is your money tied up with this bet? Oh, you, I, I think September 1st, the season ends, approximately. So it only, so only, only it for three months. For I would bet it if it, the season went three years. It's, it is free <laughs> money. Enough said. Fez, why don't you make it official? Absolutely. We are going to the WNBA, the Seattle Storm, a perfect storm. Hey, I will go anywhere to find the fish, just like in that movie. And we will go to Seattle in a place, Key Arena, where they have always had a massive home field advantage. Their mascot, da Doppler, is going to be doing the Doppler dance all year long. They're going to the playoffs over 13 and a half minus 140. That's a joke. I would lay minus 340. It's a winner on the Seattle Storm over. Thanks for joining us. Pregame.tv.